Okay, guys, we're going to do that. What do you reckon? Reckon we can pull it off? Dolly Light. Light. Okay, I don't know how this is going to work. Now, let me just pull you up there. I'll, I'll actually turn off my head, so to speak. Hang on, guys. Hang on. I'll turn off my head, so to speak, then we can hear Heather. Then we can hear Heather. I'll pull them off. Turn them off. Oh, come on. Back up there. Now. We're the full tangle later, but Alyssa, when we were... Uh, chatting about it because I mentioned that yeah. it looks like a snowflake when you stop at set at step uh, six, and uh, so Mine she went with it bigger than and Heather's created Dolly Light, and uh, we used it for our snowflake class. I'll show you samples of that uh, at the end. Super neat. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this as we have it listed uh, as. Um, as the step out show, there we we figured out that there was there's there's a, an additional card. way that you there's can do this, and I'll, I'll show you this. Box. Um, so it starts off card. with seed shapes, and a seed shape is let me like, find where I want the center to be. <laughs> That's always a challenge. A seed shape, curve line one direction, curve line going the other okay, direction. You know, yeah. meeting at both ends, so it looks like a seed, right? So we're gonna put six in here. Know that. If you decide to do more or do less, completely up to you. It all works out fine. No, we're going to follow the, the step-out. And what I like to do for this is I start it. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh. They're almost the same size. Wow. Yeah, that, mine's that almost the same size, too. Um, so I kind of like to do, you know, north-south No, mine's first. the ones a little and bit sided uh, Because we're not doing – because we're doing six – it's a, it makes a little bit of a challenge, so I have to have one coming off this angle and one this way. And it ends up working out pretty good. So then when I put the next one in, I'm going to trace over a little bit of this because I'm tucking it in. But just doing the curve line again, one yeah, way, I know the other way. The curve. Um, as there is no such thing as a mistake in the Zentangle, <laughs> don't we know, worry about it. We know. It might end up to being different shapes, <laughs> different sizes primarily. You know, and if there's, uh, yeah. you know, like I said, it doesn't oh, matter. I'm up to that. So we're going to get the five there. Okay. I'm up to the sixth then, one. Now, here's where I, I changed up Alyssa's step out. Uh, on Alyssa, she has putting a, a, you know, a curve line, which you can do it either way. That's why I like to always share lots of different, you know, ways to do it, especially okay. when we come up with, with different things. Um, but she is putting. Uh, this is a brand new tangle. One. Oh, I'll wait a few you know, days. Curve line like this, but going curve all the way around. Line. The step after that is to put lines, spokes, we could call them, lines coming up okay. from either side. Now, see, here's my my challenge is like I needed to have something to attach it to. That's just how I work, and so I just changed it up in that way for me. So um, I'm going to continue that because spokes, it's okay. easier. We're going spokes. And make these spokes We're longer spokes, than okay. your seed shapes. Like that. And now I will continue. Well, let's see. Well, this one I can for sure. So this side. Mm, this okay, side. Okay, Heather. Why oh, didn't you do that in the first place, Heather? There we go. We'll find something else to do with that there. Okay, so we're going up and we're going to curve. But then, yeah, just that a curve line, so sense. from the ends of the spokes, curving down and touching the tip of that seed and coming back. And we're touching that one and we're coming back up. Now we've got our snowflake. Okay, back up. There we go. And it, it, we don't worry about anything being symmetrical anything it's all good Back up. oh and i have an idea of how i will incorporate that little bit there okay mm, that's then, nicely, 
right. On see? the ends of the spokes, we put uh, little diamonds. So I just put, I, I kind of like to do them in separating the steps. So curve line one direction, curve line the other direction, and then two, you know, curved-ish lines. You can make them straight if you want. That's up to you. You can make them whatever size you want. Um, sometimes I get courageous and do like that where I do it kind of in two strokes yeah I'm sticking for the one stroke at a time I'm going one stroke at a time alright there we go and that is essentially it except that then it's play time so, um, okay, as I mentioned, out you can, um, Her channel's you can growing. decorate this however you want. Or Her just or just have fun, you know, sh maybe shading it as it is. You can also add extra elements. So, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, let's see. And because I have this kind of coming out, and I did this on the last one, I'm going to make a spiral. We're going to just incorporate that. Oh, okay. Oh, like that. Oh, isn't that cute? Okay, that's then, easy. You know, the trick is you find something that maybe corrects something that went awry, and then you just continue to do it. And nobody is the wiser. We don't we don't tell our secrets. Just just in our little our little circle. We have, that, we're the only ones that know. <laughs> that's okay, that. I am like not said, you, it's up to you however you want to decorate it. We saw some really amazing. Actually, I quite like. <laughs> no, I can't. Do amazing that. work. That oh, we we're have giving a little bump there. Tank. Nobody needs that. No, and big. if you want to see that work, uh, I will be getting bump. that out. Oh. And I'm going to aura these because that's, you know, I, I, I kind of like that in the decoration part. Um, a little bump. All of this, this is all up to you however you want to decorate uh, but if you want to see it go to my website um, link is in the description section and sign up for my blog and uh, when I get the recap done you will see it there other way is if you um, well you you get the recap so I, I send the links to the recap videos link to this video links to the step outs um, and so um, no, and then screenshots as well yeah, as peculiar. pictures that are either sent to me or I, you know, swipe them off of our Facebook group, um, you know, so that way you can see close up uh, better and better pictures than just the screenshot. And it's just so neat. What else do I want to do? I, like that. I liked that. I, I like that. That's nice and aura, simple. Aura I could put that in our other little there. tangle. Aura the insides of yep. these. We can aura these. That's kind of neat. Makes them makes them look hollow. And you know, I could always fill in that section. I could fill in the the the, the outer ring. It just depends on what I feel like, and I don't know what I feel like. Um, yeah. That yeah, looks quite good. Actually, you can highlight that, bring that back down a little Let's bit see. further. <laughs> like what, and what, what do I feel like? What do I feel like for the rest? No, I don't know how Heather's going to shade hers. Hmm. I'm, no, I'm debating. Yeah, I'm just leaving that empty, but I also I want to add no, another. Not much. Oh, no, let's do this. Because I haven't done this yet. Oh, she's putting more on. Okay, we're putting more on. I feel like adding orbs. <laughs> okay, why not? And why not? Why not indeed? You know, what's fun with this type of tangle... Oh, that's ginormous. And there, I mean, there are other tangles as well that give you a lot of room. You know, like this has turned into a reticula. And you could, like I said, you could put other tangles inside of these sections if you want but it just really gets the creative juices flowing and it's just I don't know it's like a rush sort of and you know where you think oh well what should I do next what should I do here what should I do there and it's just it's fun to have 
Fine. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> my I'm going on some slipping. of the ideas that I my saw. My camera and keeps slipping, guys. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now, if I was going to shade. Yeah. Um, well, shading is going to depend on what you end up doing. Yes, I'm going to shade called. on one side. Where things converge. I'm going to shade on one side and find a pencil. Because that. Is yeah, what makes I was sense. thinking that. Doing the center. Mm, kind of oh, do the center. Well, but I'm here, thinking too, of doing converge. just this one area here. Just that one area. Uh, of apparently being lazy. So, yeah, why why turn the paper when you can just uh, turn, um, turn the, the paper on in your hand? The, the trick is having <laughs> the point where the graphite is and where you don't want to go over. Oh, yes, um, that too. You know, over the line versus, you know, well, that's, yeah, I wouldn't, I would, that's why I did it this way, not like this way. Anyway, it just depends. Oh, see, that looks kind of neat. Oh, I know what I might do. This is play, eh? Orbs. I'll just... I'm just using what's left on my tortillon. It adds a little oh, dimension. Actually, there. if I had only I'm left it with uh, two, it kind of looks like a snowman. <laughs> oh, and let's add just because it, I'm feeling like it needs something. Let's just do something in the middle of these print hump. Yeah. Just want to go underneath it. Yeah. Okay. Well, and then because I did that, let's see. I don't want to do this in here. But I've already done it. So stick into it. Oh, actually, you know, I'm just going to fill in that with the graphite because it's so small. It adds a little something. There we go. So super neat. And like I said, you, you can turn this into so many things. It just depends because everybody kind of has a take on. No wonder. You know, yeah. on how they do their it's scenes, just even naturally. How do you do, how far the spokes go out? Uh, maybe do you have that touching? Do you not? What hmm. titles do you have? Paint brushes Again, disappeared. just a lot of, lot of fun. And it doesn't have brush. to look like a snowflake. Paint it can brush. look like a flower. Very it just depends paint on brush. what you end up doing with it. All right. No, I can't so, my paintbrush um, today. I mentioned that we you premiered this on play. our Tangle Time session. So you here's don't want to play. Sample number That's one. my hearing aid. You don't want to play today. Oh, no. there he is. There he is. I see him. Um, oh, I like one the that white one. So that's one. A, you know, similar, similar to this. Just mm, it was fun. I like the white one. Um, using a uh, you know, Zen bossing shading technique. No, I'm just going to go over the top of this. And then this, well, you can sort that of see black one's nice um, too. the colors on this camera don't always show up. So, oh, yeah, when I move it, like, oh, there, so you can see when I turn it. Um, I used silver, okay. on, silver. A, on a black Zendala. I'm just going over it with Sil the... Silver and blue metallic pens. We we'll see. And um, it's supposed to be blue. Let me see. Oh, it really only works if I take this. Brush. Okay. Um, but the orange sections are all blue, so the original outside pattern is um, I just want to see what silver. Would happen here. And what I decided to do on this one was I, I felt like I wanted to do straight lines into the tips of those uh, seeds instead of doing a big curve line. And it was neat. And then added mm -hmm. a, a halo. Uh, this is called bead line, this uh, tangle on the outside. And um, and then decided to do an aura with the white charcoal. It's going over the top of it um, again. And as I mentioned, yeah. our, our soft Maybe premiere that pencil of this was wasn't big for, enough to do it. Uh, but the winter that snowflakes it. class that I taught. Yeah. Uh, this is a, a based on and inspired by Tints on Tan. I just had to try that kit little that trick. I purchased from CZ. My graphite's not spreading. Um, like Marty Deckel and Jenny uh, Peruzzi. And, uh, and it's just a really, really neat, okay. neat technique. Right. 
Oh, well, we'll see we've done that. Using color we've done that. Let's put a little bit of gold on him. It's just really, really neat. Yeah, you know, we're not finished with that. If you're interested yet. in this, I do you need know, to all purchase finished. replays of the classes. So my uh, poor if you want to contact really me gone. via my website, um, at, or, or at some point I'll get a link up there uh, to it if you are uh, interested in that. But lots of fun with this tangle. Um, like I said, it's just, it's just absolutely amazing. So much fun. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, would love to have you click like. Feel free to um, share it, leave comments. And if you liked it enough to see more, that would love to pop, have you be a subscriber to the channel. That makes it pop. In the description section, I already mentioned, you'll find links to the step out, step outs, link to my website, link to our fantastic private now Facebook group. So if you happen behaving. to be on Facebook and want to join us there, we would love to have you. Um, it's an old and paintbrush, I think that's it. It's an I probably old forgot something, but it doesn't matter. It's all good. Okay. So again, you go, thank guys. you so much for watching. Have like fun with this. One and I the wish you that. That's beautiful. Okay, guys. Happy tangling. Now, please subscribe. Yeah, I've lost the little pointy bits inside. That's all right. There we go. The one there. It's a snowflake. He's a winter snowflake. Now, where's Heather gone? Oh, that one. Oh, I've seen that one. Seen that one. There Welcome we go. to this Zentangle Happy Quickie. Hands, My name is Heather go Hartwood Gladden. Heather I'm Hartwood. a certified Zentangle teacher. Gladden. And today we're going to take a look at and the tangle Jolly from CZT.